Hi, this is Maginone, and since I normally don't get a chance to do my independent reviews just because I always do them last and I always read these books late, uh, I thought since I finished these three, I would do these for you guys. The first is The Fuse, we have Manifest Destiny, and X. Now, The Fuse is a, really an interesting science fiction type detective story. Basically, what hap what's going on is this. You have a, sp a space station, and there's a detective or homicide detective policeman from the Earth who's going to live up on this vessel. Now, the thing is, he's volunteered for this, but apparently this is not a position that anybody wants. And so there's going to be, the, obviously, a mystery as to why he really wants this, this job posting. Now, while that's going on, right when he arrives at the station, you have a, a murder. Basically, a woman's walking through the station, and she falls dead. She's bleeding, and this sets the story into uh, full motion. There's also another murder at the very beginning of it, and, every, you know, everything's going to tie in together. Now, the art is okay. It's not what I would consider, like, grade A artwork, but it kind of fits what needs to be done, and I guess that's all that really matters in that case. Uh, the characters are interesting. They both have, him and his partner, they both have a history, meaning you just don't know why they're there, you don't know what their motivations are, and you know that there's something hidden that's going to be uncovered later. So I can appreciate that kind of a story. It's not clear-cut, like, for an example, Peter Parker, where I must become a superhero because of, you know, I let my uncle die type thing. It's, it doesn't appear to be like that. Anyways, I enjoyed it. I'm probably going to get the second issue. Hopefully, the it'll still be keep my interest. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. I don't want this book to keep my interest anymore because i got too many other books to buy. But I did enjoy it, so we'll see. Next up is Manifest Destiny. Now, I'm really, really enjoying this take on Lewis and Clark. It's craziness. You know, you got mythical creatures, and you have people who are clearly way way, way, way out of their comfort zone, so to speak. And basically what's going on here is Lewis and Clark and their band of merry men, they're stuck in a fort because they had these gigantic creatures that were like centaurs with buffalo heads. And while that is hunting them around the fort, inside the fort, they have these plant-like zombie-type creatures, and it they're just not in for a good time. I think... Overall, the art is really good. The it doesn't have as much action as I would like it to have, but you know, like the thing is, this isn't really an action series in a sense. This is a story about people exploring and coming across the unknown, the supernatural, the crazy creatures, and that's what really appeals to me more in this storyline. I think the art is actually really good too at times. Uh, the characters look really unique and distinct. And overall, I'm really, really pleased with Manifest Destiny. Uh, this is definitely, I think, going to be a trade book for me once this, the trade comes out. And finally, X. I am really, really enjoying X. This is kind of like... This is that dark superhero vigilante series that I've been looking for. It's gritty, it's dark, and you know, the art's really dark. And he is just killing things. He don't care. And I'm really, really enjoying it. It's really violent, uh, bloody. And, I mean, he's got a goal and a purpose. So that part, at least, you know, is really easy to pick up. Um, and actually, right now, with issue 9 and 10, they're starting to explore who X is underneath the mask. So this technically is close to a good jumping on point. But I think you're really, you know, like, I think I might have to get the trade to get the better idea of what's really going on. Uh, at least with him, what his uh, other motivations are. But I'm really enjoying it. I, I think this is definitely going to, at least for now, I think I'm going to add X to my pull list, unfortunately. But, you know, like, this is just, this is kind of like, imagine Punisher with a real costume and going crazy type thing and he's and not just that guns this is like swords and then of course pistols and he's really violent and he's going after some unscrupulous people so it's not just that mob mentality so anyways i'm enjoying it
want if you're looking for a different type of superhero title, I'd recommend getting X also. Anyways, that's it for today. Really quick. So until next time. Oh, Facebook. Crunchyroll Anime Reviews. Don't forget that. Like, like and share. So until next time.